permeating the air in the Spokane Valley factory is the wonderful smell of sugars. And that's because this is a factory devoted to making candy the old-fashioned way, by hand. With an operation that has grown exponentially since its inception in 2002, owner Carol Measel is carrying on a legacy that was begun many years ago. My Aunt Sophie um, Gerkensmeyer came from Montana and she actually started dipping chocolates in 1914 with her two sisters. She was a chocolate dipper in the Davenport Hotel 1929 to 1940. They actually um, dipped chocolates in the factory in the basement. She walked in and she was the very first chocolate dipper hired. She made 22 cents an hour. And then after, I think it was a month or two, they made her four lady and she had about 25 people underneath her and she made 28 cents an hour. She insisted on being called the four lady instead of a foreman. And so I think she was kind of ahead of her time back then. She worked in the hotel until the hotel um, chocolate factory closed in 1940. And after the war, she worked for several other companies and she used to make a lot of chocolates, but also hard peanut brittle. And a lady came into the factory she worked at one day and said, I love your hard peanut brittle more than anyone else. It has such a great taste, but I wish you could make it soft because I have crowns and I don't want to break my crowns. So she thought, gosh, the only thing I could think to make it soft would be to add peanut butter. And she said, I just need a piece of marble so I can play around at home and see if I can figure out how to make it soft. After spending $20 to purchase this 60-pound piece of marble from the Davenport Hotel in 1951, Sophia set about perfecting the process of incorporating the peanut butter with a soft peanut brittle on the slab. I started making it when I was 10 years old in 1961. She taught me how to make it. So every year my mom and I would make candy with her and we'd make, gosh, 30 or 35 pounds. Uh, she helped me in 1988 figure out how to make a brittle and a brittle is our soft peanut brittle made into a square without nuts, but it's dipped in chocolate, and that's one of our signature candies. The connection with the Davenport Hotel went full circle in 2002 when a deal was struck with Walt and Karen Worthy, who were in the process of restoring the hotel to its former grandeur. The story is actually pretty sweet in itself. Carol came to us as we were restoring the Davenport Hotel, and her presentation was, we'd love to be turned down by the Davenport. So we took that literally and accepted her suggestion that we reestablish the contact with Aunt Sophia and that heritage of the Davenport Hotel and carry it through to the future. So now Aunt Sophia may not be here physically, but the recipes that she perfected in her lifetime are still in use here. And her idea of serving the guest is right in track with what we try to do today. By providing up to 3,000 turndown treats a week, and supplying product for both the Davenport's candy shop and the Bruttles Candy Factory in the Spokane Valley, business is good for Carol. Her Aunt Sophia would be honored to be a big part in its history. I'm just trying to, you know, honor her legacy and hope she's proud of everything that we're doing here. I think she would be. Um, she used to always say, before I die, you have to promise me you'll keep making this candy. She actually made candy with me, or I made it with her, I should say, until she was 99 years old and she passed away when she was 103 and a half, and it was about seven months before we opened the shop in the hotel. We're so proud to be at the Davenport, and I think it's a great match for both of us, and we like to tell people of Aunt Sophie's history in the hotel. But I remember taking care of her when she was older, and woke up one night and I heard some noise, and I couldn't figure out what it was, and here she had her hand going, and she was dipping like crazy. And she said, if I can have my hand in the chocolate when I die, I'll be happy, so she was. It's a real sweet life. <laughs> Everybody's so happy when they come in. You know, they're, they're happy when they leave and they're happy when they come in. It's kind of a luxury item, I think, right now, but people, I think, are treating themselves in this kind of recession. It's like, gosh, if I can buy a little bit of candy, that makes, a, makes me feel better. If you have an idea for Northwest Profiles, send it to KSBS-TV, 3911 South Regal, Spokane, Washington, 99223. Northwest Profiles is a presentation of KSBS Public Television.